This was the aircraft known as the Fat Lady, a C-123 military cargo plane. It would be manned by SEAL and two other Louisiana men, co-pilot Emil Camp, who was later killed in a plane crash in Arkansas, and engineer Peter Everson. When SEAL told his DEA contacts about the Nicaraguan stopover and about the apparent involvement in the drug deal by soldiers and officials of the Sandinista government, the CIA jumped into the case, rigging the cargo plane with a camera. Uh, the camera was mounted here on this bulkhead uh, by the CIA. They uh, uh, had a remote control camera enclosed in an electronics box with a small eye on it so that it looked like a uh, an electronic uh, uh, gizmo inside the airplane. The remote control camera produced a remarkable set of photographs. The man wearing the fatigue hat is a Nicaraguan soldier. Got the airplane completely ready to go in about five minutes before departure time. The Army brought in the uh, truckloads, the duffel bags full of cocaine, and they were loaded on board the aircraft by the Cuban and Sandinista soldiers. The man facing the camera is Frederico Vaughn, an aide to the interior minister in Nicaragua's Sandinista government. The photographs of Vaughn sent out shockwaves all the way to the White House. The Sandinistas have even involved themselves in the international drug trade. I know every American parent concerned about the drug problem will be outraged to learn that top Nicaraguan government officials are deeply involved in drug trafficking. This picture secretly taken at a military airfield outside Managua, shows Federico Vaughn, a top aide to one of the nine commandantes who rule Nicaragua, loading an aircraft with illegal narcotics bound for the United States. No, there seems to be no crime to which the Sandinistas will not stoop. This is an outlaw regime. President Reagan, in seeking financial aid for Nicaraguan Contras, used the pictures snapped by Barry Seal as a basis of linking the Sandinista government to international drug trafficking. With Frederico Vaughn at the Nicaraguan airstrip was a top Colombian drug lord. The man in the striped shirt is Pablo Escobar Gaviria, who with the Ochoa family is believed to be a leader of the world's cocaine cartel. As cameras snapped pictures, the 1,500 pounds of cocaine was loaded onto the plane and SEAL headed north, supposedly destined for a secret landing strip in Louisiana. 